how are you wherever you're watching us from welcome to yet another exciting episode of church's show my journey my story and we are so excited you could join us today and by the way happy new year now on today's episode of church's show my journey my story you requested the story of this ex extremely amazing lady she's a leader a businesswoman and most importantly a motivational speaker this is the amazing story of Lizzie Modoni Wanyoike. Come along. Oh my goodness, you've asked for her and she's here. My goodness, what an inspirational woman we have today and in terms of education and leadership and business. Uh, we will have her all here on Church's show, My Journey, My Story, and we're so glad that you found time to be with us. Karibu sana, Church's show. Thank you. What you want to talk about? I'm happy to be here. Yes. And uh, I've been looking forward to this. Karibu sana. Because I love your show, yeah. I watch your shows, yeah. many of them. Yeah. And I've really admired the work. Yeah, Asante. And the people you select to, uh, to inspire yes. the people because uh people learn through others what the, the people ahead of them have done yes and uh, when some our young people look at what 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 they can do when yes. they are older yes. they have examples so what you do yes. is very good you should yes. continue Asante. and uh, i also have observed you where you came from <laughs> you, you really have a talent and Asante. i like to watch you when you used to see somewhere and a black and white TV. TV yes. and, uh, <laughs> that was in true colors. I, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I have never ever forgotten okay. you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That, that was way back. Yes. That was way back. Now, yes. before we talk about uh, Nibs College, uh, this big, big institute that you started, before we talk about Emory Hotel, where we are uh, recording this show, yeah. before we talk about your new baby, Lizzie Wanyoike, yes. preparing to school. Ulianzia wapi? Wao jamaa anaangalia hivi anaona this guy young girl. Wow, by Janice. Kuanzia primary and how was it growing up? Yeah, I have worked a lot of mileage. Yes. <laughs> it's a long, it has been a long journey yeah. as you can see and uh, I'm proud of every minute of it because yeah. every bit of my life, yes. every stage of my life has been a learning mm. uh, process. Yes. And to me and and to others, I grew up in a village, you know, typical village where you go to school with yeah. no shoes, where, you know, you know, sometimes you look back and you see yeah. how you, you could go into those, like even today, you know, the yeah. things which are happening in the villages. Yes. So when you see those pizza trains, when yeah. you see uh, the kitchen outside there, yeah. when you see going to the garden, uh, the, the, those people there, maybe they may feel that that is their destiny, but uh, yeah. it's not. It's what most of us have gone through. Yeah. And uh, it, it's a journey that makes you even, gives you even more strength as you move on to new things, new things you, you never thought about, things you never knew. Apple so Marty. that, my father was, uh, those old days, he, he had gone to school, so yeah. he was among the educated few. Yeah. So when the, the colonial is, he was a teacher. You yes. know when you are rich, started three, started four, started four yes. you qualify to be a teacher. Uh -huh. So he was a teacher. And then when the, the colonial days, yeah. the people then noticed the young teacher, this yeah. young teacher yes. who is very bold and who is who can now be yeah. used to, be, to, to take care of our offices. So yes. he was uh, given the job of a, of a chief. Yeah. Sasa uko ni wapi? Gadukeine. Gadukeine in Moranga. In Moranga. That's okay. where he was working. Okay. But uh, his home, his home. Yeah. He, was in Kereaini. Okay. So when he was uh, given a job as a as a, a, a chief, yeah. uh, you know, you people don't know, but so many things happened as, yeah. the, as, as now the government fell apart and the, yeah. the, the Mau Mau, yeah. you know, started fighting. Mm -hmm. And what happened is my father uh, happened to be uh, on both sides. He is working <laughs> with a deal, yeah. a very young, a 25 year old Muzungu. Yes. You know, and him, he is also in his 30s, yes. but uh, he was working for that. Uh, and then things started becoming. Uh, what you say, oh. elephant. Yes. <laughs> because yeah. he stood between the two. Yes. So he's working for the Mau Mau. Yes. And he's working for 
for, for, the, the, for the Muzungus. Yes. And he took advantage of that. Mm. And uh, so he, he it took some years, of course, before yeah. uh, he was discovered yeah. that he was a traitor. Oh. So he was put into jail. And you can imagine a chief, somebody who the colonial is trusted, mm. and he was now a traitor. Yes. He was treated badly. Yeah. So he was thrown into one of those jails. Mm. And then we were left with my mom. Mm. And uh, we were that, by that time, we were eight of us, mm. eight kids. Mm. Eh? Wow. So I am number six. Mm. Uh, that, yeah, I'm number six. So mm. uh, they were just two behind me mm. then. So we went through a lot of problems. Yes. Because one thing, we are, we are being watched. Yeah whether my mother is still doing funny things behind. With so mouse. yeah, yeah. So when we were still very young, maybe I can't remember, but I'm being told that uh, mm -hmm. we all used to go and look for food. Eh? Mm -hmm. And in, again, we were also put into a concentration, concentration camps. camps you remember, yes. we were removed from the homes yes. uh, into uh, villages which yes. had, you couldn't escape at night yes. so that the mouse could not come at night. Yeah. So in the morning, uh, there was a curfew. You already now know what curfews are. Mm. So you had to go there, look for food, look yes. for what, and then come back to the village and yeah. get rock there. So that's where we grew up. Mm. I then I went to primary school mm. when we were there. By the time I went to primary school, uh, things had yeah. relaxed mm -hmm. a lot. We, we, we learned how to do things, how to do things uh, on your own. On our own. Yes. Uh, by, that, by the time I realized that I exist, you know, I remember going to being taken to school, mm. primary school. Mm. And uh, I, I was put into primary school prematurely because now to be put there mm. so that your mother can now have work. Yes. Uh, to do, you know, to do other things, to work properly without the kids ra yeah. around there. So we went to school, and I hated school. <laughs> you hated school. Mutu anasema na hate school. I had one main problem. You hate school. What was the issue? The one I used to suck my thumb. <laughs> so in class, yes. you know, that was like committing a crime. Mm. So we used to be. I used to be beaten mm. because of this. Yeah. And I almost dropped out in started the three. But of course, dropping <laughs> because out. Because of your thumb. <laughs> because of my thumb. <laughs> <laughs> none, of, uh, none of your children does that. No, except I've seen one of my grandchildren doing it. And I'm happy <laughs> because let me tell you, it's nice. Yeah. It's such a, a pacifier. Yeah. When you are sucking your thumb, yeah. you forget about all your problems. <laughs> <laughs> seriously, on a serious note. Because I did it up to started before. Ah. And uh, I, because me, I'm not, I was not a fighter, yes. I couldn't fight back, yeah. but uh, once I put my thumb in my mouth, yes. I'm at peace. You are at peace. I'm at peace. <laughs> so school was a struggle yeah. those days, of course, we, yeah. the, the, there was no, not enough food, uniforms, yes. you know, it's a, it's a struggle. Yeah. But eventually we ended up um, going all the way to study seven and did our exams. Yeah. And uh, the, the conditions at home were mm. that, uh, and I'm sure maybe these days it could be happening. You know, we used to sleep. My two brothers behind me, mm. one of them, the one follower was very naughty. Mm. He, and he, we used to fight a lot. Yeah. But we are forced to sleep together in one bed. <laughs> so. And I told you. And I told Mugambi, David. I told Mugambi. Mugambi, I got two up. And you know, to punish me, he used to sleep behind me and he would make sure that I'm wet from the back. He would go out. <laughs> <laughs> and we used to fight a lot, but uh, you know, I remember, I don't know whether he still remembers those fights, but yeah. they were very fierce fights. Yes. <laughs> so, um, we, when I went to high school, yeah. from one, yeah. Kahuhia girls, yes. Uh, one thing, you know, my, my size of shoes was supposed to be uh, size six, mm -hmm. so six and a half there. But I could only wear a size eight or nine because mm. we know you have never worn a shoe. So yes. it's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> From my yeah. to school. So yeah. I used to stack yeah. some things inside there so yes. that the I'm able to walk. <laughs> so, we went, yeah. Yeah. so I went to school yeah. and I found some other people now from yeah. outside yeah. Other, other areas, Moranga, yeah. Nyeri, yeah. all over, all mm. over mm. The, the country. Mm. 
I was an alone, sort of like yes. I am not able to make good friends. I'm not able to make friends. Yes. But uh, later on, I was able to interact with them, and yeah. then we went on school. Yeah. High school was smooth. I uh, went up to Form 4, we did our exams, yeah. and then I used to say that when I finish school, yeah. I want to become a teacher. Mm -hmm. And I used to emphasize a primary school, not a primary school teacher. Yes. It has to be a high school teacher. <laughs> because why I hated primary, yeah. I would be taken around our village yes. and do the same things our primary school <laughs> teachers <laughs> used to do. Yes. Unfortunately, I did not get to go to high school training. Yeah. But uh, I managed to go to another, I did secretarial okay. in Nakuru, now I'm moving out of the village, mm. now I'm going to Nakuru, and yeah. you know, take a bus from here, you go to bus station, you take another bus to Nakuru, you go to school. Yeah. So we are still, I don't know whether it's me, mm. I, I was a bit naive, I was not very good at making friends. In high yeah. school, Nakuru yeah. High School, it was another whole experience. Yes. Because for the first time, yeah. we, are, we are in a school where yeah. there are boys. Huh? Yes. Yes. Because of my mother used to very, very much emphasize on how bad boys are. <laughs> you are not supposed to talk to them. You are not supposed to take more, the time, more, time, more than 20 minutes talking to them. Yeah. Even those because 20, boys are bad. Bad are, bo bads are boys. Uh, bad yeah. boys are bad. Yes. They'll, they'll, <laughs> they'll make you drop out of school. Yeah. Then just before we finished, yeah. There are some people who came from Canada yeah. and uh, Wazungus from mm. Canada. Mm. They were trying to introduce business studies in high schools. Yes. So they came and asked us if there is anybody who wants to be trained yeah. to become a high school teacher. Uh, teacher. Yeah. I was the first one to step forward. Wow. I want to be a teacher. Yeah. So I went to Kenyatta College, Kenyatta University, yes. then yeah. was preparing now to open up a university to be training teachers, uh, teachers okay. for high schools. Yes. That was my luck. I became a high school teacher, yeah. so we stayed there, and then we, for the two, for the, the, the two years, one yeah. and a half years, because yeah. we had done two years here, yeah. to get your diploma, yes. an S1 diploma. Yeah. Uh, there, in, in college, things were different. Yes. These are bigger boys, and they are not wearing uniforms. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you still wonder whether what you are told by your mom still, still is here, but I was... Um, we were, we, fortunately at that time, yeah. uh, people had morals, you know, people, yeah. people were decent, you can yeah. say that there was yeah. decency. In fact, in our group, yeah. we were very good because we never used to go, the, the, the buses from universities would come there so that we can go and dancing, and I can't remember going there once. Yeah. I think the you, intimidation from my mom still... Yeah. You never used to go for dancing? No. No, no, no. I need to know, when you got in touch with Baba Atoto, that is why now the problem is. <laughs> I want you to share with us that story. <laughs> and also the idea of nibs and how you are almost chased away from your premises by the guy who had uh, rented you the premises. Hey, I, I'm telling you about this oh, very important sir, thing. Now when we come back. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All sir. right, when we come back, those are many stories, of course. Uh, this amazing and beautiful hotel called Emory. Right here, Kilelesho, beautiful gem. Tatuambia, he not only talk up, and of course, the little baby that I'm in Zishaina, it was Lizzie Nyoike, a preparatory school, or Nidroidwe? Yeah. Nidroidwe. Okay, when we come back, and of course, Malili Kutana, a good boy. <laughs> so, yeah. when we come back. Happy New Year to our investors from every corner of the world. Certified Ons Limited, we are back and we have amazing deals this year for you. Check out our land and housing projects at an affordable price at www.certifiedhomes.co.ke. Thank you. back welcome back to church show my journey my story and what a guest we have today number one entrepreneur but she's on top uh, 100 uh, most influential business women in we have in the country and of course she is uh, the founder of uh, nips college and uh, emory hotel up in emory i'm emory 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 okay yeah. Yeah. and uh, lizzie wanyoike preparatory 
Hizi farasi zote zimejaa huku. This is Mori Hotel by the way, beautiful. Naona farasi kila mahali. What yeah. is what's the story with the horses? You know, I told you I'm a teacher. Yeah. And a teacher is a very plain person. Yeah. I'll give you the person who will explain to you what <laughs> that is. <laughs> Now, uh, before we took a break, yes. and uh, before we talk about nibs, yeah. men are very bad. Yes, but I, I know you come from a very staunch Christian background. <laughs> yes. Na your grandmother alikuambia ukipeleka mtoto, yes. mambo yako inaisha. Yes. <laughs> so where did you meet Mr. Wanyoike? Now I finished college. Yes. I'm ready to go back home. Now to Kirene, yes. where where we come from. Yes. But the, the idea of going that is what I didn't like. Yes. So during that time, I yeah. told you, when you're in college, of course, you are allowed to go out yes. there. And, and you are allowed to go out and do whatever you want. Yes. But what all I knew is it was not time for me to date, yes. you know, to start thinking of marriage. Yes. Because I thought maybe I have to work fast and help my dad. Yes. Because my, we, were that, uh, that we were very challenged. Yeah, very poor. Yeah, very poor. So when, when, when we were in college, yeah. there's this friend of mine, who, a classmate, very yeah. exposed. Yeah. She knew everything she was. You know, she, she taught me everything she taught to me was a surprise. Yes. And up to today, as I talk to my students, eh. I tell them what I went through. Eh. And for them, they are lucky they know everything. She used to have a, a boyfriend. Yes. Not real. She told me, it's not a boyfriend, it's a friend. Eh. Who would come and take us eh. to town eh. and buy us mirror eh. and buy us tea, eh. you know, some chips eh. and chicken. Eh. Then we take, we eat a lot of it and take the rest to, eh. the, to, to uh -huh. our cubicle uh -huh. and share with the others. Okay. So that is the time now I, we used to go. Then uh, my, 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 my friend dropped out. I don't know, just a sudden she, she had, just before we graduated, yeah. she dropped out of college for reasons wow. I don't know. Yeah. So now when this guy came, yeah. uh, he found me yeah. uh, alone. So he used to now take me alone. Yeah and buy me the, the, the mirror yeah. and buy the chicken for the others and I would go back to the, to the hostel. But did you take Cameo? No. Um, cameo, we used to go with the, with the, with the friends. Yes. Yeah, the Cameo. Mm. Mm. Cameo uh, he, cinema. He was not going, the Cameo going character. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He was, but I do, you know, you know those days yeah. when you are not exposed to different types of men and mm. the upbringing, yes. that was not to our disadvantage, yeah. but all the same, it was an advantage in, in most ways as of today. Yeah. So this time yeah. he came, yeah. Mr. Wanyoike. Mr. Wanyoike now, mm. he would take me out alone, yeah. now, now it's alone, and go and buy me, no problem, he was a mature guy, yeah. and uh, uh, to me, uh, I didn't ask him questions. Mm. So the last day, yeah. The last, the, when it came to graduation and I had to go home. Yeah. So he came and told me, wow, you are going home now. Today you told me you are closing school. Yes, yeah. okay. I've come for you. Yeah. Uh, before you go, uh, let me take you somewhere. Yeah. And then uh, you can, uh, you can <laughs> stay a bit and then organize yourself. Then yeah. you can go back home. I said, wow, that's okay. So he took me to the YWCA yeah. in a hostel and yeah. booked me in that hostel. Yeah. So one day yeah. <laughs> he came. And uh, he, told, uh, he told me, okay, fine, let me take you, let me come and show you my home. Yes. So I went to his home. Yeah. And uh, I never, that's how I got married. <laughs> I never got out. <laughs> yeah, I thought I was visiting. <laughs> I found a big house, with, and then I found a big house with very nice kids. Yeah. And then, then he explained to me, uh, the mother told me, no, they had separated. Yes. Uh, for some time, he would stay with the kids alone. Yeah. And uh, so, uh, you are welcome. And so, I stayed now, and I... I you got married? I got, now, that's when, I think I got married, because I got <laughs> pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> you never went back to Kira <laughs> Kiarinde. I never went back until... He you. didn't give you time to think about it. I, I think, you know me, I wasn't thinking about it. To tell you the truth, I, I think I was, I don't, I think I was very naive. Yes. Because back home, yeah. my mom and my dad yeah. never fought, never, yeah. there was no noise, never fighting, yeah. never shouting, yeah. never anything. With me, I never thought outside. 
I, I was like that. But when I went there, that's the time I realized now, this is now different. This yeah. is something different. But mm. if we are going to stay the same way my mom and my dad uh, stayed, mm. then I was okay. Yeah. I was good. Eh? Mm. But just before then, my sister discovered I was pregnant and then she reported home. <laughs> so now, uh, when I told him, we, it was okay. He had to go, we had to go back home. Mm. We had to my mother now. Mm. They went there with his, uh, with his mother, his father, his, the people from his village, mm. from Gatanga, mm. and we went to Kireini. Mm. They couldn't say that no. That happened very fast. <laughs> <laughs> I think everything, I'm happy for that it happened because now, but the, the product, I'll show you. <laughs> You know, people people are different. Even now, when in college, I see people are different. Some, some people, me, I was genuinely mm. naive. You were earlier telling me you didn't know women drink alcohol. No. How? He was also not drinking. Yes. So we were into teas and mirrors and sodas yes. and babagas and all that. Yes. That is what we were feeding on. Yes. So, and my sister, who was uh, ahead of me, yes. When she left Pompo, she got married immediately. Mm. Immediately from Pompo, March, mm. there was a wedding. Yes. <laughs> but for me, there was no wedding. Yes. <laughs> you found you had been married. Yeah, I was married. And so they went home and the things came back normal. Mm. Yeah. Now. And the children and came. The children came. How many? Uh, three of them. Yes. And uh, I, I stayed there for 26 years. You've been married for 26 years. I was years. married for 26 years. And uh, we, were, we were okay. Mm. Coming back to think about it, I never grew up. That's the time now when I go back, I used to wonder, why weren't we having proper conversations? Why we were, of course, we were, we were organizing our home things very well. We were going holidays, we were going everywhere. We were very happy, but we had nothing else in common. I was happier mm. with my age mates than how I was at home. Because now the age gap, which was about 15 to 16, has started now. It was, it was way older. Yeah, but looking very young. Young <laughs> like you. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. you know, for him, he was better. He was feeling much better with his friends, uh, his age mates, mm. and he was in politics. They would start most of their time in politics. Mm. For me, I would feel better with my kids uh, when they are home, taking them to school, doing things, and also with my friends. Yes. You know, my age mates, the mm. ones we went to school with. So there was a gap, mm. you know, and that is how this gap widened, and it became now serious. You know, he is lonely, I am lonely in the same house. It reached a stage when I think he got fed up of trying to train me, and I'm not getting it. <laughs> Yeah, drifting yes, we part. drifted, for, for sure we drifted, and we drifted in a way that uh, he couldn't now study it anymore. My entire life is, yeah. I felt that I would want to, be, to make a difference yeah. to those little girls, naive girls, who make the right choices maybe, but make a mistake, mis mistakes in, in uh, doing what is the right thing, because mm. marriage is supposed to be permanent. Yes, it's true. It's supposed to be permanent. Marriages are failing today because people are not trying to understand each other. Mm. Don't see that somebody like me who left a marriage because I'm doing well, uh, that, that, that even you can do it. Let me tell you, I remember the 26 years. Mm. The best thing I did was to bring up my, my children, to campaign for my, my late husband, and also to, you know, to, to be there for people. I was still there for people, but not I, it, the what I did do now is so different because God told me, you have been a very silly little girl, I'll remove you from there, I'll guide you, and you, I'll make you a different person. And even when the day I left my home, I sat in the car and I cried for four hours. When I sat back and I looked back into my life, I felt that uh, I was not making him happy. I thought if I can change, and I thought maybe I may not be able to change. And I told God, God, you are the one who brought me here. You gave me this, 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 this nice person who has now 
uh, almost thrown me out of um, our house. And I was not bitter. I was bitter in a different way because I had worked for 26 years. We had done a lot. But uh, up to today, I can't sit here and say I blame him. When you left your marriage, yes. you left everything there. I left everything there. Everything. Oh, the house, the cars. The house, the cars, everything. I, in fact, <laughs> my husband was trying me and he tried, you know, he, he just uh, locked the gate when I was coming back to pick my son who is here. So it's <laughs> you coming to the gates and you find... The gate is closed. And uh, so I had to check in into a hostel and that's where now I started now thinking of what to do next. I rushed to a lawyer and then that lawyer did not interrogate me properly. So I gave you about my, there was no wedding. And though in our days, what mattered most was the marriage certificate. So which I didn't have, which he had his one, of the old one. So that is what he presented to court. That he had married another woman? Yes, in church. And you are not the yes. official wife? Yeah, yes, exactly and, that. And that's why he could lock the door? Yes. And uh, yes. you had nothing? Yes. I think he was angry. I, I, don't, I don't deny that. He, I don't blame him, imagine. So. But uh, that's what happened. So then I had to start life again, and that's when that starting life again is not easy, and it wasn't easy. I have never gone into a bedroom. I find a bedroom there waiting for me, and there's nobody. Yeah, yeah. It's been 26 years. <laughs> yeah. You know, it was funny, kind of funny, but uh, I had some very good friends who encouraged me. When he brought this paper, this is what made me make that decision. I made my mistake, you go and deal with your mistakes. So you live out of your marriage, you've remained with the name Onyoike. You decided not to drop it, that's your name. I never thought about, you can't drop a name. I, I, I am so proud of, his, of that name because he is the one who made me who I am. I like it. And many years later, immediately you left, you started the NIPS. Yes. NIPS school, which right now has over 7,000 students. Yes. And now, uh, Lizzie Wanyoike, yes. over 400, less than a year. Mm -hmm. My goodness, we need to hear about that story. And I like the way we've just gone personal. When we come back, you'll tell me the challenges you've gone through in these men-loaded uh, 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 institutions. Sindio Kwa Sababu is leadership, yes. and you are a leader. Yes. My goodness, this is so deep, this is special. Thank you, Thank you so much, Liz, for pouring your heart to us. Mm -hmm. When you come back, you said you're introducing to us your children. Yes. Okay, they are all here. Would you know what? Yeah, to America, uka later. They are not all of them. All if of we them. count all of them in the product, okay. that will be. And you tell me the first one. Uli uli endo kaji pata ha ni molewa. I was happy. <laughs> when we come back, we'll meet Liz's children, amazing gentlemen and uh, lady, and of course she'll be right here with us too. Uh, or finish on that amazing story that she started. This is Church Show, My Journey, My Story, and I hope you're being inspired by today's show. Don't go away, we'll be right back after the break. Happy New Year to our investors from every corner of the world. Certified Ons Limited, we are back and we have amazing deals this year for you. Check out our land and housing projects at an affordable price at www.certifiedhomes.co.ke. Thank you. Welcome back, welcome back to Church to Show My Journey, My Story with the beautiful family of the Wanyoikes. Sasa, ni mgani ndiyo mgani? I know she's about to explain to us what's the memory, but how do they follow each other? The boss, he's on the boss there, 
She decided that she would want to build um, the vision to build up the hotel. So I was called in to come and uh, oversee the project. When we were doing the initial design, of course, with the architect and the consultant team, we needed to have a theme. So we sat down as a family and we just started discussing, you know, what do we want Emily? to represent. So within that discussion is now um, the idea of uh, stability, the idea of people can come here and be well taken care of, you know, um, all your needs are met, you're tired, you can find a place to rest, you can find a, a casual place, you know, where you can let your hair down. So those are now the keywords that started coming up, hair down, place to rest and so as we walked through that journey the vision of a, a stable came up and uh, our guests now became the horses that we at the stable <coughs> take care of. <laughs> So you're the horses. You know, you're out there working hard, yeah, doing what you need to do. When you come home, you want to be groomed, you want to be brushed down, you want your water, you want your food. You want to be well taken care of. So that's how the theme came about. So based on that theme is now when you might understand some of the, uh, the interior decorating. Yeah. Um, aspects. Oh. <laughs> I wish I could share with my viewers. <laughs> how does yes. it feel stepping on your dashes and having a mom and a chibi mom? It's, a pet sitter. She's, to me, she's my role model. First of all, me by background, I was in the US for, mm. for many years. Yeah. So she convinced me to come back to help her with her businesses. Mm. And uh, it's a decision I've never regretted. Together we have grown. I've come to know her as my mother, as, as my boss. Uh, she, she, <laughs> she made it very clear at work, I'm her boss. Outside work, she's my mother. So that line is a very difficult and very interesting line. To, to, to you know, sometimes you cross over on both sides. Yeah? Uh, on the weekends, I call her boss. Yeah. I did, no, I'm your mother. Yeah. <laughs> so she has truly inspired me yeah. in, in terms of uh, the businesses she has, she has built, yeah. the passion she has. Yeah. I, I, I feel truly inspired in how, yes. Awesome. Mm. So who runs Nibs, who runs uh, Emory, who runs New, Baby, Preparatory? What has started, what is happening now? Mm. I'm so much needed out there, okay. you know, so much that I'm invited for so many conferences, uh, churches, places where people uh, need to be mentored. I have refused to, 
to, to break out of being the CEO, because now I have been assessing him mm. to see whether he is now uh, capable of being called the CEO mm. of NIBS. Mm. He, is, he, will have to, he has done it, but yeah. you know my, my, mm, my assessment. He, he has done it in my assessment, but I want to be stubborn to talk. Yeah. So that <laughs> they don't think that they can just get anything that comes in the way. Mm. I have struggled a lot, so I want you to also see mm. the struggles. And it is, the, I'm happy because he has, um, he, he has get it done. Sometimes I keep quiet and ask my, myself, the NIBS has grown so much with all the subsidiaries. This is a subsidiary of NIBS, this is uh, almost a, a preparatory, it's also part of it. And I wonder how I would be doing this without this young man. Yeah. You see here, this wow. man you see here. That's the because they have been in there. So I'm still holding on. You know, holding on. Yeah. Just like, like, even polit politicians also are the same. They yeah. don't want to let go. <laughs> I've let go, but I know he is capable, 100%. Uh, my daughter here, she's done everything, everything that needs to be done. Construction, excellent, everything excellent. She is comfortable just being the project manager. And she does amazing work, and people, when they look at this, they look at the preparatory, they look at the, the main building that came up. You, you did all that? Uh, yes, yeah, she, she did all that. That's what you studied? Yes. yes. Structural yes. engineer. Structural yes. engineer. Yeah. Now, well, my... You're, you're forgetting, Mr. No, he can't be forgotten. See, you know, that is the way he waited until he came in. <laughs> this was he, he has to wait the same here for him to be reached. <laughs> It was a struggle. I, I told you I was I was I had been promised two hundred. Yeah. Uh, this one I had to really walk my way out in out in, in coming. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah. so when you look up, when you look down, when you look everywhere, you see power, you see light, you see technology. It's he. It's uh, Mr. Kani. Wow. Yes, Mr. Kani. Yeah. It's your dad. It's my dad. Yeah. So it's everything. Your last one. Yeah. So for me, what is there left for me? Yeah. I'm still analog. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I know with uh, them having started out of the country and mm. having learned the, the, and having learned about the systems in the US mm. that are followed to the dot, mm. that is what I have here in front of me. What's the one thing you, uh, you, you've never told your mom? Wow. Hmm? Answer that. Wow. Ay, that's a deep, a deep <laughs> question. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've told her, she knows I'm, I'm very proud of her as a, a mother, um, as a wife, because she's my example of uh, being a wife. And um, as a businesswoman, I've, I think I have told you that, that I'm very proud. She has influenced my life. A lot of things that I do, I do because of her. Maybe one thing that comes to mind now as I'm talking, um, she has always put the belief that as a woman, I can do anything. I have never grown up feeling restricted from doing anything. Mm. And um, that has always given me the confidence to, to move forward. I don't think she's, she's aware of that. You explain that later, don't worry. <laughs> Initially, she did um, architectural engineering. That is what her certificate reads. Mm. I'm surprised. Yeah, you had your certificate is <laughs> architectural engineering. Yeah. And uh, so, a like, serious one. Yeah, it's, it's, it's serious. That is part of my 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 gospel mm. out there mm. uh, to parents mm. uh, of how they should know they have all what it takes to empower their kids to work. If your business is successful, you, they, you have a lot of assets. Like now, what did I do without what they are doing? I'm not an engineer. I'm not an accountant. I'm not an ICT guy. I'm very analog. Mm. But I'm using them, yeah. you know? Yeah. So you see, I, see why I would you... want the parents to, to really know that God has given you different, different minds. You alone and your husband, you should do observe your kids very well and see what they can do. And if they can come home and do it, you know, I mean, get in the business, well and good. If they're not interested in working with you, well and good. They will, they will go out there and even build better empires. Mr. Wanyoike, uh, mm. 
How's mom when you're growing up? Was, was she this tough? Aliwa uh, Chapa? <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't I remember. I only beat this one. Yeah. <laughs> and he remembers. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Uh, but these two, yeah. as we told the line, you know, as we were, we, we really told the line. And you see, I, I like the way they even made their own, mm -hmm. like, uh, like Tony. You know, we had, we were comfortable. You know, we were in a very, we were, we were good to go yeah. uh, driving wherever you want, any school you want to go, yeah. then choose you could pay. But this guy mm. refused to go to Saint Mary's. Why? I don't know. <laughs> he wanted to go to another prim, uh, day school <laughs> in Saudi <South> Sea. <laughs> mm. And started with the people around there, the slums and all that. And I think mm. that is. I, I, you don't have to today. I didn't understand. It. You know, growing Which up. School was that one? You know, growing up, uh, you grew up in Westlands. And uh, I just wanted a different environment. Huh? So I went to Highway Secondary. <laughs> wow. Highway Secondary? Which was, and how uh, did you think about that at that age? Or you I, I felt I wanted a different environment. It was a beautiful school at the Yeah, school. and it was a good school at the time. He refused to be dropped in a car. Mm -hmm. Initially, we, I started dropping him far away from school. He had not take him there. Mm. I used to drop him outside there so mm. that the other students don't mm. see. Mm. Mm. Then, after, then after some time, he chased me completely. Mm -hmm. He used to wake up at 5 in the morning. Mm come through another bush where we were staying in Kiuna Estate yeah. and get into that and take a matter. I know Stella would not have done that. Stella was my girl, my baby girl. <laughs> she still remains my baby girl, obedient. Yeah. But uh, like more mothers don't know everything. Yeah. And they shouldn't. Well, they shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> so do you also at times go out together, hang oh, out, yeah. have a good time together? Oh, yes. yes. Yeah. We only have family dinners and we then have good meetings. Together. Together. Now serious. Serious good mm -hmm. meetings organizing about the companies and fighting there and agreeing. Yes. And disagreeing and agreeing. Uh -huh. We have those. Uh, nice. Those are very important. This is awesome, Mom. Mm -hmm. I really do appreciate it. This was awesome, uh, Lindsay Wanyweke. My goodness. From uh, Nibs College, Emory Hotel, where we're recording this show. And of course, uh, Lizzie Wanyweke Preparatory. That is coming so well. On Rio, mm. Thika Road, Rio, Thika Road. Mm. and uh, the vision they have as a family is awesome. So I hope and pray that you've learned something from today, that amazing story from uh, uh, Madam Lizzie. I hope she's written a, a books about this. Have you written yeah, a I've book? written one. Uh, that one, the first one was on tips uh, on parenting, yeah. because parenting is our challenge now. Thank you so much for that amazing story. Uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, anytime I tell a story, I, I tell my story because, as you know, it's not very present in one section. Yeah. But I tell it to make to people, people there to know that it's life after life. Yeah. That uh, as an individual, we are, we are strong mm. in our own individuals. Mm. Uh, and that's why I give, even for, for everything I do, yeah. I don't do it for money. I do it so that I can empower people. Right. This, this, the, and I tell people who are doing businesses, don't look at the money that is coming in. Mm. Just money will come in, depending on, on the way, what you are doing. You are not cheating, you are not lying, you are not telling, giving stories. Mm. Money will come back. Just do things right, mm. and money will come. We were the number one in East Africa wow. at one time when business was there. ICDL, we were the number one in Africa. Mm. Uh, ICM, we are rated the best. Mm. Uh, and, and all those exams, and they normally give us certificate. Mm. So uh, anything to do with the education is most important, but it's the education with character. Education with character. Yeah, mm. education with character. Mm. Yes. Great. Education with character, and guess what? You can start all over again. My goodness, what a story, what a guess. This was Chachi's show, my journey, my story. Hope you got this one. See you next week. God bless. Sasa tukula. <laughs> 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 <laughs>